Hey guys, we are back. It is unofficially opinionated. I am Christian here with Nate. What's up, Nate? Nate? Chilling, chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got another yes. unofficial review today. This so I called him like unofficially reviewed. I don't know, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, right. We're not official movie critics. We don't, right. you know. No, but we're not. These are our. We're not paid for this. You know. <laughs> That's how we feel about it. So yes. we'll see. I have so strong feelings. Talking about. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the gray man. Uh, the gray so this man, was a, yes. a Netflix movie. Um, their summary says when a shadowy CIA agent uncovers damning agency secrets, he's hunted across the globe by a sociopathic rogue operative who's put a bounty on his head. Ooh, yes, it's got a lot of stars in it. So you know, as far as the actors, we got Ryan Gosling, we got Chris mm -hmm. Evans, yes. we got Anna de Armas. Is that how you pronounce her name? We've got Billy Bob Thornton, know. Jessica Henwick, yeah. um, who you may know from Iron Fist, maybe. Um, we've got Danush, Alfre Woodard, and Nate. This French name. I think it's French. Oh, Jean, name, uh, Régis Jean. Uh, okay, so in, if you were going to pronounce it in French, it would be Régis Jean Page. Oh, That's how you pronounce yes. it. But I am pretty yes. sure that that is not how... He pronounces it, so it's probably Reg, Reggie John, Reggie John, Reggie John. I don't know. <laughs> right, Reggie so. John Page. I'll say <laughs> yes. it's super Americanized. There you go. But yeah, that that's the crew, and is directed by the Russo brothers, who you may know from the Avengers movies and such. Yes. Yes. So yes, Nate, yes. how'd you like the Gray Man? Man, tell me, it, like, uh, it had so much man candy in it, like. <laughs> 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 like, I just want to start off with that. <laughs> Nate likes the man part. Yes. <laughs> like, Ryan Reynolds. I mean, Ryan Reynolds. Um, Ryan Gosling, like, yeah. Uh, he was in the Ken movie. They made reference to that, too. I don't know if you you caught that. But they made, he was in the that Barbie movie or whatever. He was Ken right. or whatever. And, um, my goodness. Anyways. And then uh, Chris Evans. Yeah, I just have a... Just have a yeah. There just I remember the first time I saw Chris Evans was miss yeah the first time I well the the first time I knew that this was actually I didn't know that that was Chris Evans at the time to be honest so I think it's really the first time I saw him was in not another teen movie um, oh really if, yeah do you remember that no this was the first time I remember him was from the Fantastic Four movies where he was um oh yeah was, no uh, but I think not another teen movie came Human out before Torch. Human Torch yeah probably I think it came out before because uh, yeah he was that was that movie was hilarious and so anyways yeah that's the first right. time I remember seeing Chris Evans he's just so hot my goodness yeah I, what I enjoyed was I feel like he's been in so many of the Marvel movies that he was yeah. really kind of typecast as Captain America. Yeah. But I still kind of remembered how he was as Human Torch. He was kind of a jerky, like showy. Yeah. You know, he wasn't Captain America at all. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so what I appreciate about this was that he came back to being not Captain America. Not yeah. even close. Something, yeah, something different. So exactly, like he was, yeah, he was, well, actually he wasn't even, so the Fantastic Four, Marvel, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Right, yeah. So he was just, this just reminded me, like you, reminded me of his, like, not another teen movie when he, where he wasn't even associated with Marvel, you know? He was just right. doing something else, doing, you know, being, and he, I thought, I thought I liked it. <laughs> I liked his, his acting, and it was just so fluid, but he's just a very good actor, so it's just so fluid. Him and, and I like the fact that, like, Ryan Gosling, he seemed tired the entire movie like he's just like right. ah, like you know i got <laughs> i got to do this i got to kill this person and and he just made it so effortless it was it was hilarious so anyways yeah those are my first thoughts about it <laughs> yeah, sure. but yeah I, I i enjoyed it i i i didn't come into expecting a whole lot right mm -hmm. i you know these kind of movies you think it's just gonna be some action a little bit of laughing and so but i really actually enjoyed it more than i yeah. thought i would so um, did i yeah Oh, just before we get too far into it, just so everyone knows, this is not a spoiler-free situation oh, because no, no, we no, are no. not we that be focused spoiling. or careful. No. So <laughs> we're going to spoil all kind of stuff. So if you don't want spoilers, now's the time to go ahead and shut it off. But uh, yeah. otherwise, we will continue. But yeah, I 
to me it wasn't it wasn't as fantastical as the Fast and Furious movies, but did some parts were still kind of like this is kind of ridiculous. Like this person's still alive or Oh yeah, but that's know, they thing. survived all of this kind of like right? Yeah. But it's still fun. Like I had a yeah. good time. Yeah, I, enjoyed I it. mean that. I guess that was like to be expected. I, what I thought was ridiculous, very superhero ish, uh, was the fact. I mean, you know, he called on. I mean, like, you know, he he, he put a like a hit out on this guy, and they are causing all this chaos in Prague. You know, like I'm just yeah. like that is. <laughs> That's what? a lot of cleanup for a like clandestine organization, right? It's like the CIA yeah. trying to like shut down one of their operatives because I guess this whole, I guess this this um the Sierra program, right? Which which yeah. Ryan Gosling character six was a part of. Mm -hmm. I guess they're trying they're trying to shut down the whole program. He was kind of right. one of the last ones, um, yeah, to to do that. But yeah, they they kind of gave that Lloyd character who was Chris Evans. They kind of gave him like full rain to shut it yeah. down no matter the cost, do whatever yeah. it takes. And he took that literally. Like, <laughs> he, he's like, I don't care whatever it takes. Like, yeah. I'm going to kill this person. And so, yeah, it was just havoc, chaos in the streets, broad ridiculous. daylight, just it was ridiculous. shooting, cross firing, coming from three different angles. I'm not sure how they didn't yeah. shoot each other more often when right? they were coming from all those sides. <laughs> and he was chained to that that little bench, like in between. Yeah, yeah. The one yeah. how they didn't hit him, I don't know. How they didn't hit each other, I don't know. But but uh, see that and that was what was part of the funny part because he was like, how hard is it to hit? <laughs> <Right. laughs> like just shoot which is him. what, <laughs> which just is what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know, like come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's exactly. he is but I didn't even know he knew that he was uh handcuffed to the bench either. So like yeah, it was I, I thought it was refreshingly hilarious. Like uh, yeah, I don't know. It, but there were some things like I had questions about. Like for example, did you understand what where where um was it six? That's his name, right? Mm -hmm. Where he got his like fighting prowess from did you i i assume that they just trained him very well so the, the, what i what i gathered was that he was in prison they seem to think he was gonna be in prison for a while because he i think he killed his father over right. something mm -hmm. and so they're like well he seems like a decent person who is in prison for a long time so we'll take him and train him Mm -hmm. But yeah, so they must have had a really good training program because I guess, and he picked it up really well, <laughs> right? Yeah, he was I was just like, legit. "How? Where is it from killing his father? <laughs> he wouldn't have needed to know all this." <laughs> yeah, he wasn't ex-military or anything. He was just right, you know, exactly. Kind so, of got put in prison as as kind of a child, right? He was pretty yeah. young when he got put in prison for life. Yeah, essentially, that's what it. That's what that's what it led us. That's what it led me to believe. So right, yeah, I, right. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I I didn't. That was something that was just kind of confusing to me, um, because, yeah, I don't know. I didn't realize that so much time, I guess, had had transpired between them coming to take him out and then him going to um, kill. What was it? Seven or I whoever think it was the guy? Seven was, or five? It was or five one or of those numbers. Like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways yeah but what i really liked what did you think about like the fact that he became like in the like in the middle of the movie which i was not expecting that's to, to be totally honest he became like a like a father figure you know to the right yeah to this he, girl. he like, was very intent on protecting um i guess his mentor's granddaughter right it was a yeah, granddaughter it wasn't uh, a daughter. no niece his is his niece niece yeah we'll see at some distant yeah yeah, yeah I, I thought that that made it kind of more personal for him. Mm -hmm. I I was still wondering, you know, if you're this former, you know, CIA covert operative lead, mm -hmm. right? How is it so easy to get to you and your loved ones? Like, I I feel like, I mean, I guess he seemed to be semi-retired, meaning yeah. Billy, Billy Bob Thornton's character, right? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. but, but I was just wondering, like, why it just seems, it seemed too easy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. To just kidnap her, knowing full well, like you're gonna have enemies both in and outside, obviously. But they kind of they kind of explained that, right? They said in, in like a flashback, I guess they were like they leaked his 
his address and stuff like that or whatever. Right? Do you remember that? Like they said it was uh what's her name? Oh I forgot her name. Oh um but anyway she was like they they leaked his information. Um and so that's why Six had to go and protect her in the first place, the first time, um, because he right. was called on a job and yeah, that's so right. Yeah, the whatever. first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, I that would have been a, a question in my mind, but yeah, they they kind of like covered their tracks by saying by by explaining that. So yeah. I mean, it. I mean, it's understandable, especially if he was a good, um, if he was a good. Um, like spy or whatever assassin or whatever and uh, somebody wanted him dead yeah i could see them wanting to leak his yeah. information so that he can get it to his family yeah so. i mean first thing if i was him that i would have done is is take my niece's serial number for her pacemaker like out of the system somehow yeah. <laughs> right but because... like did he was he like did he realize because we, we only knew that because he took her to the hospital and then you heard the nurses talking about it like that's but the only way that... I... That would seem like in 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 that Logical. field you would mm -hmm. know yeah. Yeah, that you could track true. like something like that yeah you know <laughs> but do we know that that's how they found her in the first place like well no but that's 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 how that's how um six that's found how her, he found right her. that's yes. how he found her yeah I, right. now whether anyone else used that or not I don't know but he certainly used it pretty easily. <laughs> he just that's went. true because they they really did did just like sh come straight for her like when they were talking about what the, how they were going to do this they did just come, like come straight for her so i don't know i mean but again his his address was leaked so i don't know it's it's whatever i mean these are the type of movie that you the types of movies you really can't like <laughs> pull, pull apart because then no. you just start like <laughs> yeah you're like wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> You just gotta, you just gotta enjoy, yeah. Anyways, but I, I did like how, I think I read somewhere that it was like a refreshing sort of like assassin movie, um, which I agree because Ryan was like I said, he he just seemed so tired. He was like, uh, you know, like I think it was at the end where he was just like, uh, does any of this um, involve me like staying alive or whatever and then he was like uh something like there's a lot of blood a lot of blood like <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it was just so like so like dry comedic sort of you know whatever he he just seemed resigned to, to do the things that he was doing not necessarily like motivated except when it came to protecting the girl and still he was just kind of like you know nonchalant about it yeah, this is like funny too. One guy to kill. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, yeah, in service of protecting this girl. Whereas right. Lloyd was like, just didn't care about anybody no. or <laughs> anything. He was just he was he was so like he didn't he didn't come across as like crazy, but he was no, really right? just very uncaring about yes. anything he was doing. <laughs> And, and and that fight scene between the two of them at the end, he was so brutal. Like he yeah, was, he yeah. was, I was like, ah, like it, it was painful, everywhere. right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, he just he had so much force behind the punches. Like he was, yeah. I I yeah. really enjoyed his character a lot. Now I did too. Yeah. Did Did you enjoy Reggie's character, who was kind of like the 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 boss behind the scenes, kind of you know this the upstart in the CIA that turned evil. That that kind of was was pushing all this stuff to happen and kind of follow six. I don't know. I, I don't think I did not enjoy it. I think he played his character. In my opinion, I think he played it very well. Um, he's very calm, but very in, in, intent. And then in the places where he was not supposed to be calm, he wasn't calm. Like, I think he played it very well. Um, it was hard to understand why he was motivated to do the things that he was doing. But I, I did think that when he there was all this collateral damage, we probably should have seen his character getting a little like, like a little scared of the repercussions of what was happening because, <laughs> right. of, because of this Lloyd character. Like, I feel like we should have seen something about that because, I mean, if you're gonna make like a perfect, perfect, perfect movie, right. I think we probably would have, should have seen something like that, but we didn't. We, it was more about his, his, uh, his uh, help or whatever, the girl that went right. to yeah, Harvard. I guess he was just so ambitious. He just wanted to move up no matter what. And, you know, when, when he was doing his dirt and the, 
really, I guess the, the whole crux of the whole thing was that he was kind of dirty mm-hmm. and uh, his information got out about what he was doing. So he was doing whatever he could to cover it up. Which... Yeah, but I mean, like, I guess maybe he just assumed that whatever damage, whatever collateral <laughs> had been caused, he would be able to blame it on somebody else as long as he had that. Yeah. that uh that, I uh, guess whatever. Yeah, it was a <laughs> lot. It was just. <laughs> it was a little crazy. It was a little. Yeah, like you, you mentioned superhero movies. Yeah, it was just there's just so much destruction and yeah. cars flying around and police getting killed and yeah. buildings destroyed and. Yeah. Somehow it just keeps going. It just kept going, but I have to say that these are. I I do for some reason like these types of movies so maybe that's why I was just really so my one of my favorite favorite movie series is the Born series with Matt Damon um I just like that idea I like the idea of him just like forgetting who he was and trying to figure out who he was like it, it just made a very good uh premise uh and I like so I, I guess I, I'm just kind of drawn to this kind of uh, genre of, of movies. So I might be biased when I'm like, I really love this movie. And I, I, I didn't watch it when it first came out. Um, even though I saw when they had gone to the premieres, I saw their photos and stuff like that. Um, and I really like her seven and uh, Ryan Gosling, but I just was like, and now Reggie, cause I saw him on Bridgerton. So I was like, Oh yeah, whatever. But, I just didn't watch it at first because I was like, I don't know who the gray man is. Like the name doesn't tell you anything, <laughs> right? You know, whatever. Unless you just know those types of things. So, yeah. I mean, it's based on a book which I didn't even know existed. So, me neither. You know, which usually these things, things are right, but right. no, I didn't know it was based on a book either. But I think, all in all, like overall, how do you? What would you? What would your rating for it be? So I remember that I gave Bullet Train a six. Right. And now that I go back to this, I'm thinking I would give them both more of a seven. Like oh, really? looking back at, at my experience, like I think I enjoyed mm-hmm. it more than I thought at the time. Okay. And so, yeah, I, I, th- I think it's a solid seven. I mean, for, for me, I had a lot of fun. It was great action. Yeah. I laughed. Mm-hmm. To, to give it higher than that, I would just want a little more substance. Because I, yeah. I, 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 I do enjoy, like, learning something or, or leaving a movie thinking a little bit differently. I didn't get right, any yeah. of that. I just had no. a good time. So, yeah, it was a good hey, time. Hey, yeah, it was a good exactly. time. Cool. I'll give you a solid seven. Like, I enjoyed it. But, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. Well, it sounds like they're planning some, some sequels. I think at least two, I think, are already planned to, to come later. So does that excite oh. you at all? Well, they would have to make a sequel, I guess, because he escaped and he took the guy's niece with him. Um, so I was just like, he's just going to be on the run for the rest of his life. But like there has to be an end to it. Like, you know, right. I just assumed that there would have been, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if it wasn't, there was no end, but if it has the same actors, well, I mean, Chris Evans won't be in it, but if, you know, right. You get the most, if it has, back. they were all good actors. It. Yeah. So. That, that one assassin, um, uh, that, that ended up kind of letting him go at the end. Like, cause when mm-hmm. he, when he realized like, oh, this is kind of dumb. Yeah. Like he, just, he was like, okay, well then I'm, I'm out of this. Like, mm-hmm. bye. Which I called. <laughs> like I, I, right? for some reason I was like, he's way too good. He's probably going to give in. Like, yeah, <laughs> not like, give in, but I think he right. was like, they have no honor. Yeah, he, so he like, fought yeah. to make sure he was safe. Like, look, right. are you down? Stay down. All right, cool. Right. Now. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Yeah. So I don't know. Are you excited about the sequel? Or sequels? I wouldn't say excited, but I'll definitely watch the sequels. You yeah. know, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm going to be, like, checking online and waiting for when they come out. But if they say Grey Man 2 is out, I'll watch mm-hmm. it for sure. Yeah, it, it yeah. was a good time. It was a good yeah. time. Yeah, I definitely give it, a, like, a, I'd probably give it a 7 as well. I, I enjoyed it much more than Bullet Train, probably because it was far less gore. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but also, the I did like the comedy in it. And it was... It was well. Bullet Train was very comedic with with Brad Pitt. Well, they they were all. It was all pretty comedic. So I did like that. Uh, I'd probably give it a seven as well. I don't think I would change my rating for <laughs> for Bullet Train though. Like I'm <laughs> still, not still still solid five. Still yeah, it's still a five. Like yeah. I just wasn't. But I get it. Yeah, the gory part for you, I I think brings it down. So yeah. 
but the, uh, I was looking at the reviews online. So like Rotten Tomatoes, which is you know, whatever, you take it as it is. Um, the critics gave it like a 46%, but the audience gave it a 90%. I'm totally like, I'm totally filling the yeah. audience. Like, this isn't a movie for critics. This is a movie for the yeah. people who are paying to watch it. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it, you know? it looked good. It was fun. Like, it yeah. wasn't stupid. Like, what, what no. else do you want from this kind of movie? Like, Right, you know. yeah, exactly. I, again, so. I, I always want a little bit of substance to push over mm -hmm. the top. But outside of yeah. that, you know, like, I, I'm not going to be thinking later about the movie. Yeah. You know, no, like, yeah. I, I, exactly. Yeah. You know, like you know, this one thing had me thinking about. It's, I'm not doing that. I mean, I had fun. No. It was. It was a good time. I'm talking about yeah. it now, but mm -hmm. yeah. it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Well, yeah. I think that's our thoughts on the Gray Man. Uh, appreciate y'all listening in. If you have thoughts, don't don't be scared to you know comment on on the podcast and let us know what you thought. Yes, please. And I guess we'll catch you on the next. But don't forget, we are on all sorts of media now we are now on apple podcasts as well so yes, we if are. that's your thing go like us there give us a review and a comment and let us know what you think yep and this um, will be uploaded to our youtube um now that we have that up and running oh, yeah. so we'll you can check out our faces. youtube yes you can ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right all right folks well, well in our normal sign off since tim is not here <laughs> Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim. <laughs>